Hello LEGO friends, Matt from Brooks Bricks here, and today I'm here to give you another update on my medieval church build that I've been working on. Stay tuned! Alright, welcome back, and this is part two of my medieval church I've been working on for a couple weeks now, and... I did take a break recently because I did have uh, a COVID infection. Unfortunately, it did finally hit me after a while, but I'm okay. And as of recording this video, I'm already much improved and doing better. So very happy to have continued a little bit more of this build and to share where everything stands with everybody here. So I want to start with showing the front entrance here. Apologies that the light is a little dim. Um, let me actually see if I can jump this up a little bit. There we go. So you can see some nice big front doors there. I did show those off in the original part one video. This is kind of the highlight for me in terms of the entrance being pretty stark and in some ways, I don't say intimidating, but it looks really cool. The original build I was kind of looking at originally from Rebrickable had just a single small doorway here, which I'm glad I didn't actually go that route because I feel that these work a lot better like that. And with the arch in there, they seem, they just look really good. So I'm happy that I went that route. I also have built up kind of the front area here, and this has a very stark, um, what you call that, kind of a gradual build up there with the, uh, the slow pieces, along with some masonry brick and the round bricks, just to give it a little bit of texture and architecture there. But I really do like how that came out. I think it works well. One of the big things I did was I actually put a bunch of these shield pieces on as decorative elements around a lot of the corners. You'll see that as I rotate this around, like so here. Another thing that I still continue to really be happy with is the stained glass look here that I've got. If I crank the light back on again here, here you can see that in its glory. A lot of trans uh, cheese wedge pieces stuck in there, reflecting back at you, looking good, lots of color. It does look better when there's light shining from within because it definitely shows a lot better that way versus just light coming at it from the front or the outside here. You can see there's some, there are some hints of older colored or miscolored bricks. That's deliberate. I do I do have a mix of some older bulk in here, which had the original old gray pieces, and I wanted to use those on here deliberately to give it that look that it is kind of old and worn and weathered. And I feel like it actually it it just works right for this. And then so I kind of top this whole section off with these rounded um, pieces here. And same idea right here. Just kind of give it this nice appearance as well. More of these around the sides here. In the back, or front, front depending on how you view it here, we've got this massive stained glass window, which <clears throat> I think looks fantastic. At least from the front side so far. Or the outside. Really, really diverse amount of color there. I like how it's kind of randomized and just looks good. Framed by a nice big arch here, and then slope pieces kind of coming up to form the top of that as well. I wanted to carry that arch structure around all four sides, and I think I did it pretty well with them being at all the same level. And again, there is the other side as well. It's, you'll notice it's basically the same as the other side was. Now, one of the bigger updates in this video compared to part one is I have finished, or am just about to be finished, with the roof structure too. So, part of what I wanted to do is I wanted to try to use these two um, Harry Potter um, pieces. I forget what set they came from, but they just, they look perfect here. I love how well this came out. I did have to build this up a little bit to make this work properly with the other portion of the roof that I did, but I think it came out well. It almost feels like a natural extension up to create this steeple. And it does work well because I did build up this other addition here as well. And then the other part, this main roof, consists of an entire panel that I can take off like this. Held together by some of these snap joint pieces. But it's a bunch of these little 2x2 two two, um, slightly curved slope pieces and sand green. And a very interesting technique to kind of create this, um, this structure here. It sits over these uh, these arch pieces, like this. And it just kind of rests on them with a support. 
to create that look. And I think it actually came out really, really well. I experimented with a, with a number of different options over the course of uh, one line stream when I was working on this. And I think that this option just, in all, worked out to be the best. It was pretty flexible for me to do it this way with the sand green and all that stuff. It feels almost natural. So yeah, pretty happy with how that ended up working out. And that is so far where the church stands. All right, and so far, that is where my medieval church stands as of this part two update. Still more to come. I got to finish off kind of the finalizing outer structures, the roof breathing and all that good stuff. And yes, I am doing an interior. So that's going to be the last major portion of that, at least for the structure of this. I also did save this section here. I want to do some kind of like a small cemetery here. Or some kind of little thing like that, a little crypt or something, or a combination thereof on that side. So that's still to come. Plus I need to do a kind of greebling, flowers, trees and all that stuff to give this some definition as well. So probably part three still to come before the final review. So I can look forward to more of that. And of course I'm building this on my live streams. So if you haven't, be sure to follow me over on Twitch where I do those live streams every week. Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, and Saturday mornings, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe here as well. Hit that like button, notification bell, all that good stuff. It does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, have a good one. Bye!